You guys, welcome to packing vlog part one. My packing vlog part one. Yeah, there's definitely gonna be part two because we're gonna pack right now a little bit, go to Cape Cod to close on the house, come back, finish packing, the moving truck will come, do the final move, if that makes sense. I can't believe it's already here. It's time to get all packed up. Coming to you live from my garage. Sorry if... <laughs> This whole vlog, everything is in disarray. Wait till you say, see the inside of our apartment right now. It's scary as we're trying to put stuff together, but it's hard because we need to start packing, but we can't pack too much because we're eating meals here for the next like week before we move out, you know? So it's like, we can't really pack the kitchen stuff yet. So I guess that has to go last. And then clothes is also hard because I'm gonna have to like set aside like, okay, these are the clothes I think I'm gonna need in the next week, pack up the rest. You know what I mean? It's always tricky like that when you move and then it's like, wait, what about like my bathroom stuff? I got a shower. Gotta leave like a towel out, but pack the rest. You know what I mean? So, perfect timing. Let there be light. <laughs> We're getting to business in here. Step one, I'm really happy that we decided to do this, is we got these big old bins from Home Depot, Home Depot yesterday. And, uh, I don't know, I can't, I can't, I'm really bad at estimating, but I felt like this was gonna fit so much. But then, seeing our friend's basement and she had a bunch of these bins, she was like, oh gosh, that is not gonna be nearly enough at all. So we might have to go back and get more, but we didn't know how much to start with. We have two like smaller ones, and then two like 200 liter ones or gallon or whatever. It's, yeah, like really big ones. And I'm really happy we decided to do this because we don't have much storage in our house. So, since we're just gonna be there in the summer, we figured we'd put like winter coats, winter boots, sweaters, like winter things in these big tubs in the basement to help with the storage issue because we won't be like using those things anyway. Actually, can you guys comment down below? Do you do this? Is our stuff gonna smell musty? That's like the only thing I'm scared of. But our house is like newer and the basement whenever I've been it down there really doesn't seem like wet or like smell musty, dusty, like anything like that. And especially if they're in these bins, like is our stuff gonna be okay? Do any of you have any insight? They all right. And it's only like three months. You're not gonna yeah. be, you know, mm -mm. getting dust and creepy crawlers in there for like years. True. Okay, here we go. me is I guess I'm a hoarder of winter coats. I thought I had all of them in there at this point and I just got all of these inside from a closet. I literally thought all of my coats, all my winter stuff, more winter stuff I had inside, all my boots were gonna like easily fit in this one. Am I like delusional? <laughs> I'm so bad at estimating like how big things are, how much space it's gonna take. Okay, all right. It's okay, we'll figure it out. Okay, here's the update you guys. I was so naive 
to the, like I just again I'm so bad at estimating I thought this would fit so much more than it did barely fits on my winter coats like barely we're gonna have to like tape up the sides they keep popping open all right then over here you know Max is filling up his big bin slowly I'm trying to see if I can squeeze some of my stuff in there he's like mm, what else okay I don't know my camera just got off he's like what else should I put in here I'm like I can fill it up and he's like Oh, oh no, like I know you could fill that up. <laughs> I want to put my stuff in there. So I'm already like, mm, I think I'm about to send you back to Home Depot to get some more of these because we definitely need more than I thought. All right, then over here in one of these littler ones, I have most of my like winter clothes, just like sweaters, like long PJs, like jeans and leather pants. I don't think I'd wear a scarf, stuff like that. And I'm thinking the other little one, like will these all even fit in here? I don't know, but I was thinking I could just do like winter shoes like these I don't see myself wearing in the summer, you know, Ugg boots. These are very like fall, winter to me, winter, winter. Yeah, all our hangers we're gonna have to put somewhere, but that is the update. No! Tell them what you're doing. Throwing away our shit. <laughs> this isn't shit, this was a nice gift. Yeah, yeah, she did. You guys, my camera keeps cutting out, but I'm saying I'm zooming way in because I don't want you to see all the clutter around me. But Max keeps warning me that he's gonna be throwing away all my cuffs. Do you guys think we you have enough? Hold on, you wanna hold on to those? No. Yeah, yeah they are memories. We have so many water bottles and cups and stuff. We're never gonna use it. But we. That's what's currently happening. This is not a cup that we have. This is our Diet Coke. Don't pack throw that out. away. <laughs> We've been in a Diet Coke cake. It's so good. This is the only thing getting us through the packing right now. These are nice, but we just don't use them. We got too many. <laughs> we go where they fit in there. He goes. Who knows? <laughs> We're only keeping the essentials. <laughs> I had to fight to keep some. <laughs> but like, like you can't get rid of these, they're so nice. For guests, like they will love. We're like, nice hydros, Stanleys, of course. We really did cut down a lot, so. It's probably partly this, but it's No, it's just down. We I think that's my money. Keepsakes, we could give it to her. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Our next order of business is packing up clothes that I'm not going to wear for the next week. You know what? As I'm saying this out loud, this is actually going to be perfect. So I have my little carry-on suitcase, my large suitcase, and what I'm going to do is, this is so nice by the way, Shadow Base for sponsoring this video. First of all, my most favorite luggage ever, as you can tell. And what's so nice, if you guys have the Weekender and the carry-on suitcase, the Weekender fits perfectly in your carry-on suitcase to store it. So I love doing that. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put all this stuff that I'm gonna keep out in my Weekender bag, but this is gonna be really good. Like it has the shoe storage down here, which is so nice. Yeah, we're gonna put stuff in here that I know I'm gonna wear within the next week, like certain outfits and such. And these, I'm gonna pack up clothes for the move, which you guys know typically I would use my suitcases for travel. These are the best suitcases for travel. They have the 360 wheels that make it so easy and simple to move around the airport with. I remember my old dusty suitcases that I would be like dragging and <laughs> it'd be like tipping over and they have only like two wheels, and you know what I mean? So they're just like the highest quality suitcases. If you can see, it has the grippy handle right here, which is just so nice and comfy. They're so sleek, minimal high quality, they thought of everything. You guys didn't know already, it's Shay Mitchell's brand, I love her, she's amazing. And that makes it even better. And it has the weight indicator limit right here, which is so nice. Um, if you use like a check-in bag a lot, you just pick it up from the side and it'll turn red right there if it's over 50 pounds, which I always need. And you know what else I need? This is a large checked luggage. <laughs> Why can't I see? This large check-in luggage size that they have. They have a bunch of different sizes and colors. They have the cutest new colors for summer, you guys. It's like hot pink, orange, green. Like, I love them. Oh, and they have like navy and light pink too. I love their light pink pink. Anyway, they have a bunch of colors and sizes. So I have the large check-in, the carry-on, which I use constantly. But I think I need to get the medium. Because the thing about the large is I fill it to the brim and then it's over 50 pounds as it tells me every time. So I think I need to get the medium, but I am going to fill these up right now with clothes like I keep saying. It's gonna be so, like I'm so happy I have these because putting my clothes from my dresser into boxes, like no, like I'm just gonna put it in the suitcase. A lot, honestly, a lot of my clothes from the dresser will fit in here since it's such a big suitcase. 
So yes, we're gonna do that right now. I know my code has stayed the same for them for you guys. If you are in the market for new luggage, obviously could not recommend enough. You can go to basetravel.com. That's B-E-I-S-T-R-A-V-E-L com slash Gretchen. You can get 15% off your first purchase on base. Basetravel.com slash Gretchen. Don't forget. All right. We're going to pack this up with some clothes. And no, it's not those clothes. <laughs> Just bear with me, okay? I told you. It's chaos inside. None of you can judge. And I'm sure you're not. You guys are the best. But it's moving time. So that's just what happens, okay? It's chaos. There's a lot. I didn't even look at what's happening in there before we started filming. Is that a Brody towel hanging up there, Alex? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's a whole other story. That's I'm having a Poshmark moment tonight, okay? And that's a lot of stuff that I have to put on my Poshmark because that's been a part of this whole process too, is packing up, also cleaning out simultaneously. So I'm not moving things and packing things that I don't need, right? Okay, let's do it. shocked at how much the large you know what I'm not shocked because I always shop so much in the large check and I just brought my carry on into the other room to finish filling it but this is crazy this is like all of my dresser pretty much like shirts pants shorts leggings sports bras under here stuff like oh my gosh there we go hello stuff like that I'm feeling so good we're making really good progress here hello I just want to say it's nice morning hi, hi, hi. I said, do you want to come join our faint discussion? Here he is. Um, it's not morning. It's 12.30. And I thought I would include you guys in our paint discussion. I'm happy we've had a couple days to ponder. Yeah. But it's quite overwhelming. Yeah, can you tell? <laughs> and they all probably look exactly the same on camera. But out of our million swatches, we narrowed it down to like these. Okay, you can see the difference. Also, rookie mistake, <laughs> if you really get paint, we were just advised by many people, go with Benjamin Moore, it's really high quality paint. That's like what just a lot of our friends and family use and know, whatever. So we were told Benjamin Moore, okay. So then we go to Home Depot oh. the other day and we were like, where's Benjamin Moore? And we're like <laughs> looking around and they don't have that. And we just like assume they did. So don't be dumb like us. Yeah. And make sure when you're looking for home stuff that they have for go. So then I called around and found this other, I think it was Ace Hardware. Yeah, the other one, Paul's, was Had also Ace Hardware. Oh. So it must be like. Like an Ace Hardware thing has Benjamin Or sometimes there's Benjamin Moore stores. I feel like I've seen them. Yeah. <laughs> Our eyes are gonna hurt after looking at so many shades of white. <laughs> So we got a lot of swatches, which I'm really happy we did because I feel like, and these are even hard to tell, they're so little. Yeah. But they're better than looking on your phone online, mm -hmm. like you can't tell. So, yes. Basically, I don't think we've told them. There's just all this drama, but I think like it's boring to hear, but long story short, we're trying to close early. Have I like discussed this? Maybe in like no. a recent vlog. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't want to like bore them with the yeah. details. Details, details. But the reason for this is we're trying to have a window between when we close and between when we move in all of our things so that Mm -hmm. We can get a fresh coat of paint up on all the walls, yep. which would probably be a thousand times easier without furniture moved in yet. Mm -hmm. Just so they can, because in my mind, furniture's in there. We'd probably have to put everything to the middle of the room, yeah. cover it in tarps, or move it out. And so cleaners too. Yeah. Like, yeah. So if we can just avoid that and just do it before we move in, it'll be so mm -hmm. much easier. Get some cleaners in there. It'll be like fresh paint, freshly clean, all the things. But yeah, that's like up in the air <laughs> if we're even able to do that. Or in the midst of like talking to the painter, blah, blah, blah. And thank you if you guys left us like so much good feedback on the video that I was asking about painters. That must have been mm -hmm. the video we first talked about right now. Yeah. And it seemed very like polarizing. Some people were like, that is like the one thing you definitely can do, like mm -hmm. do it. But then other people were like, don't even try, sis. Yeah. Like, 
pay for someone to do it nice, you're gonna notice a difference. It's worth every penny. And I just kind of went along with that. And and I feel like people are saying it takes way longer than you think. Yeah. And it's exhausting and takes everything out of you. And this way, if they can get in there while we're not there. Yeah. Easy. So easy and ideal and I and I just know if we tried and I didn't like the way it looked I would have wished that we would have just had someone professional do it <laughs> in the first place So I'm like, let's just make it easy for ourselves. <laughs> so that's kind of like our plan and the paint is in really good shape right now But there is some blue mm. Which would not be my first It's very beachy. Yeah, <laughs> but like the primary bedroom is like a lighter blue and I want to say the bathroom is one of the bathrooms downstairs is like a medium blue so Oh, and then we were like, okay, do we do, cause we're looking at neutrals, obviously. No one get mad, there's gonna be comments being like, blah, all white house, neutral, and like, blah. Just let it's me It's not be. your house. <laughs> there you go, you don't have to live there. And we just want it to be bright, welcoming, yeah. inviting, and I honestly am so inspired by this apartment mm -hmm. because I love these walls. They're all the same color, it's like an off-white, a little bit darker even, but I think people realize, I feel like it just looks white in here, but it's very, look at the mess around. I feel like the lighting's hard because we have these lights on, so it's hard to like tell, but it's just a very, co here you can see against this white trim, who knew paint colors actually make like such a difference? So that's why we've been in like a paint color, just crazy. Yeah, extravaganza, huh? So yeah, this is like a really nice like grayish, beige type of color. And at first we were gonna go with this, but now we're thinking maybe more just, well actually first we were like, okay, white everywhere. And then I was like, no, I love this like grayish, it's more warm, inviting, we'll do Bro. that. Ignore Brody, just ignore him if he barks. <laughs> this is his new thing. Maybe he knows we're packing up sleeves, so he's yeah. anxious when we pack. He sits at the door and like barks all day because he literally just wants to lay in the sun. Mm -hmm. It's been so sunny and nice. No, you just laid outside for hours. <laughs> okay, focus, Gretchen. So we were like bright white and talking to your mom. She's like, yeah, do this like Chantilly lace. This is like one of the brightest whites. From Benjamin Moore, if you can tell. But then we're like, oh, we don't want it to be like too crisp, <laughs> too like doctor's yeah. office sterile. So we're kind of scared of that. And then we really, were, we've really had a journey with this. Cause then we were really sure we were gonna do one of these, which is really like the color we have here. Mm -hmm these dove colors, kind of an off-white. And this is in Max's house right now, and it's so cozy, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Now I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> I told you we just need to pick one, and then <laughs> just forget stick it. with it. But now we're back to a lighter color. Actually, from FaceTiming your mom yesterday, these colors, like, it's crazy because they all look so similar. But on the wall in person, it will look so different. Mm -hmm. And like the difference between these two on a whole wall will look so different. So then they look kind of darker in person. And the way so the sun will hit it. Yeah. And the light and all that. Our house has a ton of natural light. So it's like, take that into consideration. This current place has barely any yeah. actually. So honestly, this paint would probably look a lot lighter in a house with more natural yeah. light, you know, cause it's so darker in here. So now we're back to this simply white, which it's kind of like a warm white, if you can see. I think this is what we're going with. That was a whole explanation to say. I think that's what we're doing. That's my text with painters. Mm -hmm. Wait, you know what? Why don't I show them like this? Like flip the camera around because I'm sure mm -hmm. they'll be able to see a lot better. Sorry, I just talked forever. Do you have anything to add? No. No. <laughs> I'm really happy we have your mummy mm. during all of this. Yeah. Max's mom advising us. They kept these out here. So I'm like, I feel like I need more opinions here. Because this yeah. is such a big decision to make. Like, it's literally the color of your house all over the walls. And it's not easy and it's expensive to do. Like, you don't want to have to redo it. So I'm like, I want to get it right the first time, you know? Okay. Want to see them? All right. <laughs> they look the same. camera. Okay, that's the no pile. Here we go. Why is my camera. See how it has these like black lines yeah. when it has all the LED oh, lights yeah. on? But you guys can still see. I hate that it does that. It's cause like I said, there's no natural light in here. Don't look at the mess. That's the only window. So yeah, okay. Oh, hang on. Does that make it better? Not really. All right, just bear with me here. This is like a really bright white. These all look almost blue, especially compared to these. We're gonna go with this, but this on the walls in person look more like this, like darker. So then we're like, ooh. And then we were like, yeah, that, cozy. But then it has kind of green undertones and we don't, we're like, we don't want it to look green. And this, I just heard the best things about now. This looks so, so white, but I feel like it'll look really warm and like inviting and not like sterile like these, you know? So I think this is what we're gonna go with. This is the paint, <laughs> the paint fiasco. Whoa, I almost just dropped my camera. <laughs> I'm bringing a heart attack. 
I literally fell on my hand and I grabbed it with the other one. I'm moving too quick. Sorry, probably none of you care about the paint discussion, but if you were in the midst of painting, then hopefully that's helpful. I literally have been researching. I've been stalking like Lauren Lane's house, if you guys know. Lauren and Chris Lane and Lauren Oshi, of course, love her. Lauren Oshi had the Simply White in their last house. I don't I wonder what she has in their new house, but that one that was on AD and I just like love her and their sense of style and everything. And their house looked really bright, but also like warm and cozy and inviting. And we almost did the classic gray because <laughs> Lauren Lane had this all over her Instagram stories that this is what she has all in her house. Like I think in the living room, kitchen, bedroom, stuff like that. So then we were like, do we do the white in some and then maybe the gray like in the bedrooms, make them cozy? <sighs> I think we'll just start with the white and then maybe if I wanna do the bedrooms or bathrooms like more cozy, darker later on, I can do that. But that way we just have like a fresh kind of slate. Shout out Instagram story highlight <laughs> when people <laughs> say stuff to that so I can reference back. That's been really helpful. I like stalk people's home highlights. I'm like, what are the Benjamin more colors that people really like, blah, blah, blah. So that's been helpful. But also what we didn't show you last night, Max, so kindly. Went back to Home Depot. Oh yeah, I got more tubs. Get more bins. Not for you. For Definitely me. not for me. <laughs> you got lots of clothes, okay, girl. So right now, we're gonna keep this. This might even be like moving vlog part one, because it's all about moving. Moving vlog part one, packing up my crap, packing up clothes really to start. Because like I said, did I say how I feel like we can't really do kitchen stuff left? Like we have to eat, you know? But clothes, paint, all that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh, look at the black they came back. Like they were gone, now they're back. But hopefully you guys can see what I'm showing you. Oh, I could show them outside, but what's really weird is whenever we bring these outside to look in the sunlight, they all look the same. Like, cause it's so bright outside, you can't even notice like the subtle differences in like tone or anything like that, which is really weird, so. Yeah. Okay, Max is literally an angel. You guys saw this one. I need to like take some of my coats out cause this is popping open and that's gonna drive me nuts. And also gonna be really hard to move. Did I show you this one? I don't know if I showed that I filled this one up just with like winter boots and stuff, one of the smaller ones. And then that is like some winter clothes. Max has been, and then he picked up two more big ones for me, I think. Or no, one big one and two a little bit smaller. Yeah, because there were two, and then when he went back, there was just one. So he grabbed the one big one and then two that are just like a little bit smaller, which I will probably fill up in like two seconds. <laughs> Feeling good. We've made some good progress here. I have all my winter coats in there, more winter clothes, winter shoes, winter like dresses, a couple other coats that didn't fit in there, more winter clothes, sweater, stuff like that. Wow. I love that I thought all this was gonna like fit in there. <laughs> so I can't, but we're doing good with this. Also have this big bin left, which is great because I wanna put stuff in here, like extra Brody stuff, just stuff like that that we don't wanna get rid of, but that we don't think we'll use like over the summer. So yes, making good progress here. Break from packing to go on a rollerblade. Why don't you show them your rollerblading skills? Give us this little spin. No, not now. Oh, come on. You just rollerblade within here anyhow. <laughs> show us what you got. Why well, we want, the people wanna see what you got. Well, I have not rollerbladed since 2020 since we bought these little babies. Those youth boy ones? These are the only ones From that were sold out during COVID and they're like youth. They still fit. Boy, I am not good at rollerblading. Yeah, they fit. They just feel a little unstable. Mm. How do I? Yeah, that ties. And I think you tuck that tongue in. Oh, in yep. here? Yep. So like ski boots. Yeah. Are yours like that? <laughs> No. <laughs> I had a pair like that though when I was a little boy. Oh, my Hopefully the apartment's not in disarray around me. I warn them. I'm like, it's just. Yeah, it is what it is. It's moving time. We're living in a state of chaos. Okay, give them, give, give them something. You'll this is boring for them outside. to see me. Well, I don't think I can vlog and do this at the same time. No, I can. You gonna bring it? Yeah, but. Maybe on my phone. They don't want to see me. 
They want to see you. No, no. Look at it. I literally have not put these on since March oh, no. of 2020. Maybe once when we first moved here. So September of 2020. We, I probably tried. But like, it's not fun because I'm not good at it. Like I That's think- That's why we got a friend. And like a rollerblading like rink. I could be good. Is that a thing? No way. Cause then, cause then it's all flat and even. But on the rocky roads, that's what makes it mm. hard. That's why I think I'm not. Cause like, bring me to Guptoles and I'm good to go. You know what Guptoles is? The roller rink. Is <laughs> where I grew up. Yeah, that's great. Like I would be good there. All right. Are you ready? <laughs> We need the this. last thing we need is an injury <laughs> before we move on out of but here. We need a moment of fun because right. life has felt so Let's stressful. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at this. Watch me go. <laughs> Look at that girl! I'm screaming! <laughs> you like the wind in your fur? You tired from your rollerblade? Yep. This is how packing days look. I run around like a crazy woman. And Max like, no, no, no. You do a lot. I've been I'm kidding. Helping. You literally have been helping me so much. You don't let me touch any of your stuff. Because it, does, it doesn't go in the right place I when I do it. I let Max help in certain ways. I'm very controlling. <laughs> you think? Yeah, my camera keeps cut, cutting off. I don't know why. Max was saying, oh, you think? close-ups on me. You're close enough. You don't need to zoom in <laughs> any closer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I always do that when I'm filming. It's just like, like it's like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Just whenever uh, I, I want to move it. I don't know. For filming, it like makes it fun. I can just zoom yeah, in and see. Yeah, how much stuff we bring home? <laughs> Everything like, we can fit. What are we saying? Oh, oh, this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. I, we're okay. We're this. <laughs> we're out of it. What are saying? We, we, oh, we were saying I'm specific, and Max has been helping me a ton. But I only let you help so much because there's certain things that I have to do my way, of course. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Say bye. I think we should end off this first packing vlog here because I've showed a lot of packing and we'll just we're just gonna move on. Did you show them packing up my stuff? Yeah, yesterday yeah, in the garage. The garage yeah. You made a little montage. Mm, montage. And then we're gonna I think the rest of my stuff can go in the suitcase. Yeah, yeah, we don't have too much more. That's what I did yesterday. I did a lot of my clothes in the suitcase. Oh yeah. That base. I know I won't wear in next week. Yes. You are a base girly too. Well, not a girly, but yeah, a base. You're a fan. base king. Because <laughs> yep. Max has a base carry on and he loves. Yeah, I do have a base carry on. Do you need a check in to match? Um, yes. Then you'd have a matching set. Thanks, base. You're like, send me one, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're saying bye. Oh, yeah, because, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. <laughs> we back, and then we're going to the Cape Close. Come back, pack some more. So that'll be packing vlog part two. Yeah. You think this we'll go one. two cars back or one only one car back? That's I don't know. Haven't got there yet. You gotta think about it. Okay, say bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>